everyone, it's Rachel and Anthony Hello. from Don't Crop Me Now. In these troubling times, I thought we'd try to cheer people up a little bit and show them how you can grow potatoes in 30 litre tubs. We've done a few videos about cropping these potatoes from last year and we had quite a lot of questions about our methods. So I thought we'd show you today. So we're starting with this compost here. This is our homemade compost. So this is a mixture of your weeds, your vegetable waste. Also, we've got chickens and the hemp bedding. We use that within there. We've got a friend who's given us quite a lot of guinea pig waste. So we use that. So it's sort of small animal manure, chicken manure, plant waste, cardboard, lots of different things really. So this is, this is our compost. So this is last year's. You see there, this is from where you put your um, cardboard on then it has tiny bits of plastic which I tried to pull off but it's just near impossible to get them all off so I do have to keep getting rid of those bits which is it's quite annoying actually but um, if you're going to make your own compost it, it's quite hard to avoid so we use about a 50-50 mix of our own compost and uh, just general multi-purpose compost the reason I do this is because our compost obviously has all the microbial life within it which is important for the health of the potatoes this is really like because obviously your multi-purpose compost is essentially just about sterilized but it's a good bulking agent it doesn't have weeds in um, and because we just don't have enough of our homemade compost to do everything I, I sort of compromise on that and do 50 50. so all i do is so i've got a spade full again another piece of flipping plastic there so you get a spade full of our compost put it in the tub so these tubs are 30 litre very sturdy will last absolutely years plastic tubs you could buy them from various sources online they're about three pounds fifty ish each sometimes you can get them a little bit less if you buy a lot in bulk but they're not too expensive and they're absolutely solid they'll last ages so i've got what, like a one to one ratio so I've just then put some of the multi-purpose in like that so that's one scoop of each I then add some of this mycorrhizal mycorrhizal fungi so this is the stuff that everyone's talking about now it does occur naturally in the soil so you don't have to add it like this but obviously when you're growing in a plot a pot it's not completely in the soil so hopefully we will have interest introduced some of this good fungi by using our own compost but i found this i don't know if it was just because of this but we've since we've been using this and using this method we've got really good crops so potentially i'm going to keep doing it because I've, i feel like it's made a difference so just got a big spoonful there put that in another one so it's not much that i haven't weighed that i mean that's just like probably i guess a dessert spoonful so there's been two of that we've got some general purpleized fertilizer can't even speak now general fertilizer here so this is any any that you, you want to use um, obviously there's different types of fertilizers organic and inorganic this is just a balanced fertilizer so i then put like a, a handful like that in I just mix it up so it's been mixed up and then what I'm going to do for these early potatoes I'm going to put four in a tub so um, I'm, we're actually growing for our earlies these which are international kidney potatoes they're like Jersey Royals but they can only be called Jersey Royals if they're grown on Jersey but it's the same same type of potato I'm going to, because I want to pick these as some small ones, I'm going to put four in the tub. When I grow my other potatoes that I want to be larger, I usually put three in a tub. So I'm going to put four. So the idea is you, you put a little bit in the bottom of your tub. I then put two potatoes in on either side like that. And then what I'm going to do is do the same thing over the top. So I've got the our compost. compost tiny bit of the fertilizer and tiny bit of the fungi mix and then I just 
mix it in a little bit and put it on top so i'll probably do another load of that then i'll put the other two so the first two went there so then i put them there the idea is that then they're going to spread out so the potatoes aren't really all close together so i'll put another load in then i'll put the other two potatoes in and then i'll just continue filling it with the same compost mix to the top a lot of people and we've always done this in the past as well until we started doing this method is earth up your potatoes as you go so there's nothing wrong with doing that i just want a quick and easy method and to be honest our yields were really good without earthing up we just filled the top right at the beginning just bear in mind that your top growth on the potatoes can get quite big so once you've got them somewhere um, make sure you've got some sort of supports around them if they do grow big and they don't start flopping over so at the moment i'm just going to put them anywhere on the plot um obviously with everything going on we're not sure if we're going to be able to get down as much as we usually are so i'm just trying to get these in for now and i can just forget about them really so that's what we would do and um, we'll just keep going to the top put the other two potatoes in um and then that's it i'm going to put them somewhere on the plot i'm going to leave them i'm not going to water them because it's quite damp our uh, compost is quite damp anyway obviously we'll get some rain I will water them if it starts to get probably by the end of next week if we do have a week of sunny weather hopefully if we can get down so i hope you're all keeping well and keeping yourself safe in these very difficult times um that's bye for us from now bye see you